Hi the tube, Mr. Globe out here. We tried this uh, flat this morning. Uh, we had some major problems. Obviously we just had a pre-departure clearance pop up there. Uh, just to show that we've been having some issues, I've had the uh, cowling open. The simulator crash. You've probably seen a live stream of it. Uh, we crashed it three times. We had some problems in the uh, event log viewer um, related to kernel 32 which turns out to be something related to the way that uh, vpilot was working with uh, model matching. Anyway, had to reinstall a bunch of stuff. Hopefully this will work. Engineers has finished their work. We've got a delay of uh, two hours already. Let's jump on board. So we have the uh, ground power sitting here. Autopilot. Get that up on the system now. Obviously we have a bunch of lights on here. And we're going to do a very early morning flight. Still a morning flight, just not a very early morning flight. So, let's do all of our tests. I'm going to sit here on the seat right about there. Okay, the batteries are on. Flight slow. Pull up. Terrain. Terrain. We're in the Pull ground up. power. How much fuel do we have? We have 20,000 pounds. What do we need? So here's the flight plan. Get a bunch of stuff down here. So position initialization. We'll just take it from the GPS. A route for today. Is K A T L. And over to K R I C. Could have Kellen K E W L N. B Y J A C. Q sixty. JXSN and KELS Activate Performance Performance will need it off here There we are So the fuel that we have today is 20.4 it said but it's going to be 20.3 now And I've got a schedule normal. Zero fuel weight today is 112.4. Reserves. Let's do the uh, calculator. Thought I had that open still. Cool. So the calculator will have uh, the alternate is 3.3 3, 3 effectively and we'll add 4.4. Uh, also going to add the uh, contingencies 1.9 and we get 9.6. Flatten all three fitty. Yep, I'll climb into that. Cruise wind. From the top of the climb is uh, 212.34. And the temperature up there is uh, minus 39. That's set. Takeoff speeds. I'm using flat 15 today. Dry runway, 131 is a V1 speed, 135, 144. Let's stick that into our system here. 
So 131 there, 144, roughly there. Then our site attraction speed is a 194. Flap retraction is a 159, so I'll do that. Site attraction is a 194. And minimum clean speed is 237. Might even put in this final segment climb, 211. There we go. Let the uh, flight first officer do their thing. There we go. Happy with that. We have, let's see, in load manager, 14.1. We have 110 passengers today. About uh, 3,000 pounds of uh, bags. Mac trim is 14.1. Right about there, we'll be using flat 15. And uh, let's look at that departure clearance. We have, I'll actually tag that on. So we have uh, Scott code 7242. Uh, flight level 10. 10,000 foot on the departure route. Check Allen, 127.9. Good stuff. Let's have a chat to the passengers. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain speaking from the flight deck. My name is Trent, and joining me on the flight deck today is YouTube. We'll be taking you over to uh, Richmond today, and uh, Richmond, Virginia. Flight time today is just on an hour. Hope you do enjoy flying with us on Delta Airways on board our Mad Dog MD88. We're preparing in the cockpit today to uh, get uh, airborne fairly shortly. We do apologise for delays. Uh, there have been some technical issues with the aeroplane today. But those have been resolved and we are now ready to depart shortly. Captain will be coming through the aircraft just to ensure that everything is ready for our departure. I do ask that you pay them your full attention as uh, there are some variations across the fleet. That said, we should be on the way shortly. I do invite you to sit down and uh, relax. Cabin crew, please be at the aircraft for departure. Uh, I can probably start the APU, thanks. Okay, then, APU going to start. While that happens. Motor lights are good. APU's on the bus. Motor lights set to armed. We can disconnect ground power. Signs are in. Yeah, let's listen to the ATIS 125.55. Include your call sign in the lead text. 
Upon receipt of your APC clearance, please make only your squad code. Advise on initial contact. You'll have information, Quebec. Quebec. Atlanta International Airport, Data of Information, Quebec. 0052 Zulu. Webcom. Visibility 10. Two clouds at 3,400. 4,800 scattered. 6,000 overcast. Temperature 11. 2.7. Altimeter 2991. Simultaneous visual approaches in use. Visual approach runway 26 right. 27 left. Visual approach runway 28 available on request. Simultaneous departures in use. And town 1191. Director 885, Atlanta departure radar contact, climbing team 14000. 14,885. That is set. Cool. Let's run a check. Okay, checklist. Flight recorder, ATRS test. Test pass. Address alignment is verified. FMS GPS is checked, cross checked. Now I'll just check where we are in the field because we want to chuck in a thing. We're on ramp three, we're in the south end we're using runway 27 right and the jack to kill and transition. That's set. Okay, mercy lights are on. Cabin signs are on. Windshield ADS is set. Engine uh, select sync is off. Stall warning has been tested. Air conditioning is switch cut off. Power protection. Fire, engine. Engine frigate seat light back. Fire, light is done. TRP is tested. Fuel quantity is set. Our is set. 2991. Fuel shut off. Levers are off. Cabin pressurization lever is automatic. And the four start checklist. Parking brake is set. Medic pressure PSI. Chuck it into the uh, left side. Get stuff. PSI is set. I'm getting some air conditioning there now. Engine select is off for the moment, so we get the pushback clearance. Uh, tanks are all on. Anti collision lights are on. They should have been off, but they're on now. APU is set. Yeah, we should have been doing this whole time. Ah! Do the wrong one. Thrust lever's idle. And the four start checklist completed. We'll get the doors closed. Undocking the gate. Got tower there. We'll be uh, pushing back on our own. See where we're going. We're on ramp through, we're heading down south, so it's a left hand turn, tail to the right. Couple of things we need to do down here. In the menu, eight cars. Pre flight, initial data. Flight number is 826. Originating from KATL. 
It's about the time of departure. Current time is 0125, so it'll be 0145, 20 minutes time from now. Uh, scheduled date is 21. Estimated STA, so time of arrival. Estimated time en route will be one hour and eight minutes. And uh, standard STA be zero one, no, be zero two. Fifty-three and a DAL. That's set. Okay, make data balance trip fuel. Just go to the company. Trip fuel twenty. Four. Uh, it was 461, it's actually a different number now, 350. Taxi fuel is about 100. Taxi about 1,000, sorry. Block fuel, 7687. And RTOW, it's 112352. Sent along. So turn out of there. Our reports will do a nothing. Don't need anything for that. Request the ATIS from KATL. See how that goes. Sent. And we've got a request from a crew. Ah, already did that. Cool. So we're skipping the boarding today. We'll see that they're already on board since the airplane had problems. Okay, ACAS. I have a message from the ATIS. Crew message as well. There we go. Preliminary weights already sent. And the ATIS is as shown. Okay, now I'm just sorry. This is Delta 1314, ready to back seat. To run rate to seven right, we go back on board. Delta 1314, heavy Atlanta Tower, runway 27 right, taxi, leave the Juliet knife, altimeter 29091. 29091, I'm still ready. I'm ready. Delta 1314, heavy. Transponder is on. Out of range. There we go. And uh, parking brake is released. Better tell that to the crew. Into calm. Hey, so the ground crew, parking brake is released. You are clear for the push. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. Right, we are cleared for the start. Air conditioning is off. Hey, you is on the bus. Start system alpha, and we'll take the left hand side first. Engine left starting. Too cool for school. 22% will start an engine. Good one to start. And we'll go ahead and start the right.
there's 20 and the right set to start Playing brakes are set Set of tanks are automatic Silvery is off, transfer is on for the takeoff. Unlocking gear. And his skid is on, pit on heat, set to Brat Probe. Right start valve is closed. Flat 15. That's 11. It's in land mode. Why is that? Should be on flat 15. Right is clear. Right is clear. There it is, flat 15. It is set. Using flex mode, we're derailing down to 190, is set. Clock is running. And we will take, look at the overhead, we have parking brakes, APU generator. So the APU can come off. Generator on left side and the power air conditioning can go on. Galley is on. And we are ready to move. Alright, it's alright, go to 1314. Is it front of it? 27 right? 1314. Just 1314. Runway 27 right, RNF football, clear to take off. RNF the football, clear to take off. 13, 14, Director's in, and let's run the checklist. Okay, I'll start checklist. Engine ignition selection is off. Pilot static heat is on. It's on RAT. Heaters are on. And our switch is set. Air condition supply is auto. Door cue light is off and hydraulics are set. We have engines on the high and the transfer yeah, is on. Tax the checklist, APU switch is off. TRP ART is set, V speeds are set. Uh, Final are set, FMS GPS is checked, flight controls. Let's do that now. Should have done that before I move this away. Flight controls are clear. Flap slats is 15. Take a briefing, we'll do it in a second. Cabin report, we'll do it in a second. Okay, the briefing is we're taxiing out to runway 27 right. Probably get to go via Lima, Juliet, Mike. Mike, uh, okay. Alpha, Lima, Alpha. Runway is 12,000 foot long. We're going to be uh, using D rates, 190. Flap 15. V speeds are set. We'll be uh, pushing up to 100 and uh, 100 knots for Excellent. a uh, standard report, and then the below 144 Rob. for the V1. After departure, we'll be taking uh, right an old nav. We'll check the nav now. Nav is armed. On takeoff modes, and we can take it. Alpha Bravo, cross on Right at Alpha, Phoenix 17. Delta 1314 is passing 
Delta 1314, contact departure 127.9 or so long. Right, right. Yeah, 1356 is right. Any buttons? Serve it all, okay. It's a bit better. Was that UPS 1356 column? Yes, we are ready to taxi with Kobesh. Okay, 1556, roger. 26 left via Alpha, Bravo, cross 26 right at, uh, at Alpha. Keys aren't bonding. Taxi to runway 26 left via Alpha, Bravo, cross 26 right at Alpha for UPS 1556. Every K. Okay, a couple of things I need to check here. That worked. That worked. Okay, trim is coming up. Sorry about all that. Didn't expect that not to bind. Got some others that I have to do as well, which might be important. Guess which they are. Ah, oh, that is bound. That's bizarre. Never mind that. Cool. Still not bound. What the heck? I know exactly what happened. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's our Delta 826 information. Quebec is ready for taxi on uh, apron 3. Southbound. Delta 826, on tower, runway 27 right. Taxi via Lima, Juliet, Mike, altimeter 2991. 27 right via Lima, Juliet, Mike, and hold short on a 27 right. Delta 826.
Negative 717, are we cleared to cross runway 26 right? FedEx 717, affirmative was in your staff's instruction. Affirm FedEx 717. 27 right, is it? We got ourselves mixed up and went northbound instead of south. We got that. Delta 1436 is right back. Delta 1436, Minotaur 27 right, Texas Alina, Juliet Mike. Submitter 2991. And taxi 27 right via Lima 2895. I'll see you at 2991. Delta 14. Where's the line Well, Sheriff calling sick call sign. Ten eight seven two. Okay, Air China eight seventy two. Then a tower. Runway two six left. Taxi via Dixie. Echo, altimeter, two nine 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 one. Thanks for the top of that. Oh, two runways, two six to left. Tell us in the hands, two nine nine one. Air time, eight seven two. Okay, we're on to Lima. And now that we're not facing any buildings, we'll uh, do a test on the weather radar. Gotten to do that a second time. Did it last time we booted it up, but it looks like we don't have it. Yeah, it's there. There we go. Got to put the brightness monitor up. The next 717 is holding short runway 26 left. FedEx 717, RNAV impasse, runway 26 left, clear for takeoff. Runway 26 left, clear for takeoff. Takeoff checks. Take of data is confirmed. Fuel balance. Perfectly balanced. American 3113, welcome to Atlanta. Vacate right when able. Brake temperatures. Checked. Right time and we'll take it down to looking end. great. Ignition select set to both. EOP is checked and before takeoff checklist is completed. Ah, controller, shifter, <laughs> have to change that. Yeah. 
Ten Tower, thirty one thirteen, we're clear. The uh right there looking across nine move. American thirteen, crash in American thirty one thirteen. Taxi used to be at Papa, Lima, cross 27 right at Papa. I see Romeo. Cross the right side of Papa. That's another tower to know. Wait, you get this in Jefferson. See at the curb. Yeah, let's not step on each other. FedEx 717, contact departure 12719. 127.9er, good day. Sure, calling on readable, we'll say again. Uh, Delta 5455, is there a direct Delta 5455, one tower, runway 26 left, checks to be a Fox Strat Echo, it's another 29901. Next, Delta 5455. UPS 1556, is that you, Keith Collins? Yeah, I keep getting stuck on. I was just going to let you know that uh, we are holding sure we're going to take off for UPS 1556. Uh, UPS 1556, I can see that you were stepping on the other aircraft. RNAV and pass, runway 26 left, click takeoff. All right, RNAV and pass, and uh, clear for takeoff, 26 left, for UPS 1556. Two mad dogs in a row. Hello, tower, you mean of the Senate, three, three, eight, two, six, three, three, four, my show, involves, uh, gate, brow, two, four. Delta, ten, eight, three, land, tower, and eight, two, seven, right, text, the lead, Mitchell, leave, mic, up to the two, nine, or nine, or one. Text me, you lead, Lima, mic, two, seven, right, up to ten, eight, three. Kevin Cruz stated. Takeoff checklist is completed. Engines are nice and heated. Let's go. Right. I'm around the tower and the A72 runway, according short of runway 26 left. Yeah, air channel at 820. Correction, air channel 872, that'd be continuing short. Uh, can you repeat, uh, air channel 872? is uh, ready on reaching. Pleasure of calling you last hour, say again. So the 826 is ready. So the 826, RNF football, runway 27 right, cliff takeoff. RNF football, 27 right, cliff takeoff, so the 826. UPS 1556, contact departure 125.7. 125.7 today, UPS 1556. 257. Air 872 heavy, runway 26 left, 5.8. Yeah, we're clear for takeoff.
clock is set. Going for 50. There's 50, power is stable, throttle engaged. Air Chinese 72 has the runway 26 left, quick pick up. Damn. Runway 2 left, clear to take off, Air China 872. I do not see. Delta 1436, Roger, Check. Delta 826, contact departure 125.7. 125 125.7, Delta 826. Scare Nav. And Ray Nav. Flap zero. Length of departure is Delta 826, uh, leaving 3800. Okay, China 872, how do you allow the departure radar contact? I'm going to maintain one four. Oh, okay. Climb thrust. Yeah, T restored. Yeah, that's a Delta eight two six, leaving uh, five thousand three hundred. Delta 826, the weather departure, radar contact, climb to maintain 14,000. Climb to maintain 14,000, Delta 826. 14, set. UPS 1556, contact, climb to maintain 132.97. Slides to track. Check. 132.987 for UPS 1556. Uh, take off checks. Brake temperatures are all good. Didn't even use them. Gear up, lights out, flaps and sights are up and retract their engine, uh, engine ignition. You can go off. Done. Center fuel tank is set auto and altimeters are as they are. There's 10,000. Oh, 
132, that's all 97, Delta 826. All the parts are in. Atlanta departure. Atlanta Center, King Air 127 Whiskey, requesting taxi clearance from the wharf. Air 127 Whiskey, Roger, taxi from the wharf via Golf Alpha. Roger, taxi via Golf Alpha, runway 24, 127 Whiskey. Atlanta Center, Delta 826, climbing uh, 14 out of 12.5. Delta 826, Atlanta Center, Roger, climb 10 funnel, 350. Climb funnel, 350, Delta 826. 350 set. It's flat level. Up to 2992 is set. I'm going to send you an email. I'm going to send you an email. That's 10,000 feet. I'm going to send you an email. 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 UPS 1556, procedure at Town, Kilo, Kilo Echo, Lima, Lima, November. Tilt down three. Turns out that's five. Can you repeat that for UPS 1556? Yes, yeah, so that's a two over text, procedure at Town. All right, direct Town for UPS 1556. Get in. Just reviewing, we have seatbelt signs auto. And the fog is off. Delta 3159, line 71. Okay, 377 descend via the Hobbit 2 rebel, line off over to 2991. Yep, let's kind of do some chart arranging. And here we go to Richmond. Our rival is the Ducks 4. Quack, quack. Okay, let's zoom that in. Coming out of Kelsey. That's set. And we cross the ducks at 4,000. Pretty simple. Kelsey at uh, 11. And 250. And that's set. I think we've lost our, uh, oh no, we haven't, just not in range for some reason. 727 whis 127 Whiskey, wind uh, 3104, runway 24, clear for takeoff, by runway. Atlanta Center, King Air 127 Whiskey, holding short, runway 24, ready for takeoff. Air 127 Whiskey, roger, runway 24, clear for takeoff, by runway heading, wind 3104. Clear takeoff, runway 24, 127 Whiskey. Mission approach is on. Atlanta Center, Delta 13, 1433, climbing through 10,000 feet for 14,000 feet. Well, 1436, 
Go that eight, uh, eight cars again. Hello, 5950, Line Center, Raider, Code 2, Final 390. Line 11, Center, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, so yeah, fuel logs. What's the current? Yeah, all seven eight point eight. Or one two seven whiskey reader tax to altitude. Brilliant. Go ahead. Uh, the crew would like to say what's up. Are you still pushing Mad Dog? Yes, for now. Uh, going 737 in about a month. Sounds like a plan. All right, we're about 20 from top here. Roger that. 251. So 2461 cross Glavin. Uh, have maintained. Just copy that, maintain 14,000, one alternative G991. 12.2. Oh, what's that, 2461? Affirmative, cross the live in the intersection, I maintain 14,000. All right, cross the live in the intersection, 12461. Okay, Bravo 13. Line of center, west side, 6310, check in with you, 5360. Push out 6310, line of center, rudder. That's a space. There it is. Or 127 Whiskey, left turn, heading 180, proceeding on course, climbing 10, 16,000. Hello, Adam this is uh, King Air 127 Whiskey. Uh, apologize, recalling for me. Affirmative, left turn on course, turn vector 115, climbing 10, uh, 16,000. Roger, left climb uh, one six zero. Atlanta Center, air shuttle two thirty, with you climbing uh, sixteen thousand five hundred two zero two zero zero. Air shuttle two three zero, Atlanta Center, Roger. Okay, let's check in some of our rival details. Atlanta Center, good evening, Delta Good stuff. Atlanta Center, American 8377. Do you want us to descend via the arrival, sir? So, minimum uh, flap is uh, 234. We've set that there. Our uh, final segment climb is 207. That's where they go around. Flap 15 extension is, actually the flap zero extension is 165. And the flap 40 V-Ref is 130. Got 135, so you want to add the additive there. Okay, 377 affirmative, descend via the Hobbit 2 row. Okay, the same view the arrival published, American 8377. About 3159, Lance and Roger, cross Clavin, I maintain 14,000. I'm sorry, cross Erlin, I maintain uh, 13,000, Lionel 2993. Uh, 
thousand Delta three one five nine Ireland. Mac point seven seven for the cruise. It's out there on five nine. Um, no, my mistake. Actually, you were right the first time. Cross uh, Ireland now one four thousand fourteen thousand. One four fourteen thousand Delta three one five. And I uh, assemble reading that ten eighty three direct carry one four thousand and speed restriction to two four zero. The, the, the 1083 line center rider climate info 290. Climate info 290, that's 1083. Your shuttle 230 descend via the Chelsea 4 arrival, Charlotte South, altimeter 2986. Well, it depends why the opponent's charts arrival and uh, 2986. Here's shuttle 230. Kristen Adis to uh, KRIC. Next 717, I give you the climb all the way up to 310, correct? There it is. Climb 310, Next 717. Runway 16. Wind 210 at 7. Atlanta Center, American 3567, level at 16,000. American 3567, Atlanta Center, Roger. Greensboro, Altimeter, 2984. Okay, three seventy seven, we'll talk to you later. Contact on our approach went to seven point nine. Uh say again for eighty three seventy seven. Cool. Contact for approach went to seven point nine, we'll see you later, my friend. Probably vacate. Okay, two seven point nine, we'll see you later. Have a good night. And come down Lima, Charlie, and then into the night. Yeah, or evening, Echo even. Three oh six. Westjet 6306, the line center runner. And Westjet 6306, traffic 12 o'clock. Uh, company traffic 12 o'clock, 6 miles. Uh, not talking to them yet. Are you able to uh, descend maintain flight level 340? All right, traffic on DCAS, descend flight level 340, Westjet 20, correction, 63. Right, let's go ahead and grab the meta as well. I'm the latest man. I'm the two four six one. Well, I'm a finished building sixty five thirty four level level two zero zero. Three sixty five thirty four last center rider. Other aircraft calling last center second. Twelve oh six. It's a while back. Yeah, it's in Delta twenty four six one. Petrand uh, two one zero. Uh, five knots. Yeah, I'm doing pilot. What was the? Um, no, that's zero. Twenty one hundred. At oh oh five four. I'm sorry, Dick. It's about an hour ago. Twenty so four six one is gliding at one four thousand. So uh, just make sure you're at fourteen thousand. Don't worry about your speed. And uh, the I got it. Gliding at fourteen thousand. Two nine eight one. From America 2567 to 7V, the Chelsea 4 level, Charlotte Landing South, Charlotte 2286. Same ride to Chelsea 4 arrival, Charlotte Landing South, American 3567. This is the 1314. Did you transfer me to Washington? Well, 1314, affirmative contact, Washington Center 133.72, 3372. See you next time, have a good day. Bye bye. Good evening, uh, Duke. Cool. One, two, uh, I was checking in uh, six decimal seven four one zero ten thousand. Duke one two echo off of my center rider. Career altimeter two nine eight six. Twenty nine eighty six on the meter. Two echo, thanks. Uh, twenty four six one yeah. contact yeah. approach went to seven point nine. Also done twenty four six one contact approach went to seven point nine. Thousand to roll. Just a quick look at Acumap. Delta 1083, uh, normal speed. We're going there, I think, yep. And Delta 
Thirty five thousand. 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 Okay, I was just verifying your own voice. Okay, for state 46, below the center runner. Thank you. American 2567, we're going to speed to 250 knots for internal spacing. 250, American 2567. Westside 63, we're maintain Mach 178 or greater for internal spacing. So you're going to follow 63, wait. Maintain Mach 178 or greater for internal spacing. Oh, I'm still there. Oh, I'm still there. TR 127 Whiskey. Can you confirm radar? I had a slight hiccup. 127 Whiskey, affirm whether you're still on the radar contact. West 6306, reduce speed to Mach 0.76 or less for internal spacing. 76 or less, West 6306. Air shuttle 230, contact shuttle to approach 56115. Good day. Good day, thank you. We'll contact shuttle approach. Air shuttle 230. Okay, let's do a briefing with the information that we have so far. We're coming into Richmond on the Ducks 4 arrival. Crossing Kelsey at uh, 11,000 feet. 250 knots. We're going to go straight down to Athena. And uh, for landings on 27 or 34, which is not us, you'd expect radar vectors from there. We'll be instead going up to Ducks. Okay, 46 procedure at Chelsley now. Join the arrival from there. And heading off on 041. Cross on ducks at 4,000 feet onto runway 16. Uh, yep, my, uh, to onto runway 16, we have an inbound course of 157. Man, they're talking quick. So, 3159er, contact on approach with the and then back course on uh, 157, localizer 1107. We should have 63, the center maintain follow 240. Roger, down to 240, west of 210. And that is set. Minimums 200 feet. Uh, so that's a decision height, 200. Delta 159 affirmative, contact on line approach, 127.9. 127.9, Delta 159. Delta 367. And uh, number 12 Echo Alpha, descend and maintain 5000, rear altimeter 2986, uh, plan on the visual approach, T2. Hey, down to 5, 2986 on the meter, and uh, we get the airport in sample. We'll give you a shot here. Just Runway itself, uh, 9,000 foot long. We're using all of it. Shock off for Roger. Uh, flight heading 260. Auto break minimum. We're using flat 40. 260. Four breakfast for the final. 2F alpha. V speed has been set at uh, 230. We're using uh, 235 for the final approach speed. Or crash on spear wing 6534, contact shot approach 126115, we'll see you. 126.15, 
Jet 6306, descent of maintain uh, 260, 260. Flight level 260, West Jet 6306. In center, uh, 2.2 Alpha, we get the airport set. We're a little high, we're going to do a 180. Uh, we'll give you a shout here. Uh, we'll just call you for the visual. You can give us a, just, up a, a the cruise. vector back and forth here. There's no worries, we can got it. We'll take off and Roger, clear visual pressure to, to maneuver as necessary. Uh, if you'd like, fly heading 300, zero zero. Uh, venture to base. All right, clear. Understood. Clear for the visual. Runway uh, two, uh, was it, uh, two forward, and we'll give you a shout uh, on the final side. Two up, thanks. Cool. I'm happy there. Yeah, so I'm uh, sorry if I have a slightly late descent, got a little bit busy there for a few seconds. I love this, we're at 35,000 feet and catching a false glide zone. Just speed temporarily <laughs> just for a moment. Zero knots. Go on again. Right, two nine zero knots, can't stay for me. Got to love radio ducting. That's what that is. Correct. Okay, Channel seven two contact Indianapolis Center one one nine point five five. Contact Indianapolis You see that radio frequency ducting means that radio frequencies can uh, go much further than normal, depending on the weather conditions and reflectivity of the ground and stuff like that. Doesn't mean that the signal is valid and won't lead you to a runway, but it's reflecting off some surface somewhere or maybe the troposphere. Yeah, about 1,000 feet below the troposphere right now. So it could even be an inverted glide slope, lead you up into the atmosphere. Not at a three degree, just some random location of uh, two frequencies that happen to be showing up as a localizer. Of course, now it's failed because it's still picking up a signal, but it can't figure out what's happening with the signal. Actually, so to be honest, this fails when it's not picking up signal at all. Good old uh, confusing Mad Dog, but it'd be quite interesting to go out there with an, like a little animator just to see how much signal it's actually. Which is 6310. On 1.7. Which is 6310 cross the Andre intersection at maintain 13000. Two thousand knots. Andre Admin Team, one three thousand. Cactus eight forty six. You can resume publish speed. Thanks for help. Contact shuttle approach one two six point one five. Publish speed then over to approach one two six point one five. Cactus eight forty six. Good day. Let's have a look outside. Wish Jet 6308, descent of maintain flottable 310. 310, 6308. Blue Street 5119, contact Charlotte approach 126115, good night. Over Charlotte approach 126115, Blue Street 5119. I forgot to put the add-on sounds on. Stay inside in that case. Let's try that then. Next time, next time. Thank you, Alcalfa, thank you. Uh, Greer 12506, runway 22, clear to land. Land 22, we'll give you a shot on the ground, 22, thanks. Southwest 493, across the Aussie intersection, I maintain 12000, 2000 now, call 2993. Cross Aussie 12000, 250 now, Southwest 493.
Westjet 6306, looks like you're the faster of the, of the two airplanes there. Maintain maximum forward airspeed for Westjet 6306. Maintain maximum forward speed, Westjet 2503. Westjet 6308, maintain Mach 0.75 or less, uh, or, or slow as practical. 0.75 or less, 6308. So the 806 contact jack center 134.5. 3485 or... That's an 806 out there. Great. So the 1083 contact jack center 134.85. Not anymore, really. Is it good news? There's anything that I don't need, it's five people with my call sign. So the 1083 contact Jacksonville Center 134.85. bit better than the Airbus. I think there was a comment in the uh, live stream that we attempted that said something about uh, the Airbus. Anyway, thanks for being on the live stream, even though it failed. The aeroplane broke on us. The sim broke on us. Well, Seems to be fixed now. V-Pilot stuff. Consider, uh, Duke one, two Alpha Considering Center, moving over to zone, Swift at some point, I've already got it installed. I just need to get my head around how it works. Okay, Alpha, Roger, thank you. You can text it to your discretion. Have a good night. But for now, there's too many cool flyers to move. You too, Ben. Somewhere over Charlotte. So fifty four, fifty five, contact any center one one nine or point five five net. Sixty three, sixty seven, ten, level two four zero. Fly level two four zero, Westjet twenty, Jackson sixty three oh six. Westjet sixty three oh eight, descending ten, level two seven zero. Two seven zero, sixty three oh eight. How's that right engine going? Pretty well, actually, all things considered. You haven't been burning out of a set of tank. 
Which I think is real rate. Uh, you can maintain. You now I see 290 knots now. Atlanta Center, good. Um, 50 American, 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 and maintain your maximum port air speed until uh, you need to slip. All right, 2993, maximum forward speed, and uh, Andre 13000 at uh, WestJet 6306. WestJet 6308, center maintain final 250. 250, 6308. Five seven seventeen contact Washington Center one three three point seven two. I think that last one was the FedEx seven seventeen. Which is sixty three eight. Uh, what's your indicator there, speed? I'm sorry, sixty three oh six. What's your indicator? Indicated airspeed is uh, 330. Thank you. Push on 308. You can, uh, you can uh, maintain 310 knots or, or less. 310 or less now. 310 or less, 6308. Wish I was 6308. You can now cross the Andre intersection and maintain 13,000, 250 knots, model 29293. Andre 13,000, 6308. Next thing I need to set up is the dash eight. I need you to have a LUA control to do the some kind of mouse macro thing. That uh, I can assign one of my accesses on my throttle to the um, they call that thing the control lock. So I have uh, parking brake as my first throttle. Throttle one is my second throttle. Throttle two is my third throttle. Uh, control lock is my fourth throttle, and then the last two throttles will be uh, the power condition lever. That's how I intend to do it. Uh, the twist on my uh, What's that, joystick for the steering. I should probably listen because I'm coming up. Is that us? Roger, we'll do post 2729 through Westhead. Westhead 6308, you can resume normal speed, thank you. Normal speed 6308. And the second is that for uh, dollar 826 to contact Washington. Uh, negative. Uh, that was uh, the only one over to Washington right now is FedEx 717. Yeah. That was for Southwest 493. Southwest 493 over to Atlanta, 527. 27.9, Southwest 493. Getting a bit jumpy on the gun here. Mike Grabiatis, uh, 11915. So the 826, contact Washington Center, 133.72. Landing and departing long wave 16 and 2-0. VFR. Watching uh, 133.72, Delta 826. 372. 
He caught us right as we <laughs> switched on to the haters. Hilarious. Airport information, Foxtrot. Foxtrot. Zero one five four zero. Wind two four zero and eight. Visibility one zero. Ceiling six thousand five hundred foot. Temperature one five. Two point seven. Altimeter two nine eight three. Was one Delta 826, flight level 350. Flight 26, Washington Center, Roger. I'm sure we could have the sound still come through while we switch the windows. And that didn't happen all the time. Washington Center, good evening. Number 325 Quebec connect to Timica Parish 126.1. 3025 Quebec connect to Timica Parish 126.1. 26.1, 25 Quebec. Net 11 41 connect to Timica Parish 126.1. And UPS 1556 with the U5 level 310. UPS 1556, Washington Center, Roger. Share the field landing. Washington Center, good evening. American 856 is with you at uh, 250, drop to 310. Uh, American 856, Washington Center, Roger. It is 4,000, so I'll just check if we're cleared for the star. Washington Center, dollar 826, just checking if we're cleared to descend with our arrival. Light zero six to send for the Mulder 4 arrival, ready landing southwest, while the altimeter is 398. Four zero seven zero evening Delta ten eighty three two four zero four two one zero. It's a later six. Descend by the Mulder four arrival, running landing southwest. Oh, four uh, arrival, four. landing southwest eight twenty six. Delta eight. Yeah, 
house, the other at right, fully stacked, descent for the fleet tax, for arrival, Richmond altimeters 2983. Seven of ducks uh, for arrival, 2983 and the altimeter, dollar 826. 83 set. American 1225 is uh, 214 climbing, 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 with Delta Airlines, flight 826. Just looking at the weather down at Richmond at the moment. Have a little bit of scattered cloud, but uh, nothing wet happening. And uh, temperature's currently 59 Fahrenheit. We're doing just rain moving then, about uh, 20 minutes. And we'll probably be at the gate in about uh, 35. So uh, thanks for flying with us. We we'll wish you a very pleasant onward trip from uh, Richmond Airport. Cabin crew, please prepare the aircraft. For arrival. And there's a descent. Southwest 5256, connect with Jamaica Bridge, 119.85. This did the bad thing that uh, Captain Jeff told us never to do. Left in VNAV all the way to its estimated descent point, and it's just pulled the power right back to idle. Winter, of course, means that the uh, pressurization system is going to take a little bit of time to get used to that. You're going to feel your ears pop. Use wow. your best to begin your descent a little early off the uh, descent page. But we forgot to do that. Oops. So clear out your ears. Sorry about all that. Hello, eight zero six. Walk once Charlie. Turn on the transponder. So the tank is seven hundred. Going to go back to auto. Twenty fifty one descent for the actually touch your garden. Ready, descent. Is that for American twenty fifty one? Descent checklist. MSA has been set. It is three hundred and sixty four. Approach landing briefing has been completed. MDF is cross checked. Landing data is confirmed. Right, 2051 cross May 0018, follow up 220. V speeds have been set. Altimeters, uh, the radio altimeter and the audio marker. Say again for American 2051. Marker should be on. American 2051. American 2051 cross May 0018, follow up 220. Marker is set. Hydraulics, transfer pump is on, pressurization, what's the uh, height of this airport again? Hello, 806, connect the Raleigh approach, 124.05. 150. Well, Timber was uh, 2983. We don't have NAOS in our uh, computer here. And that's all set. I'm sorry, who was it? Uh, we're on the, uh, American 2050, we're on the Chesley 4 arrival. Okay, Joe, it's a magic fee on your flight plan. But uh, descend, let each other be for arrival then. So let's put in style. 2983. Okay, uh, sorry about that. Chelsea 4, arrival 2986 and landing stop. Thank you. Very good way to see you on.
Jack in the runway 16, so we can see it on the CDU there. And it was FAK. Flat Rock. Chuck that in. Yeah, not convinced. Center citation 286, Alpha Charlie, uh, level 14000. That's a bit better. Number 286, Alpha Charlie, Washington Center, Roger. Firebug. Yep, Firebug to the, uh, the holding point there. There's 20,000. Signs are in. Lots up. Hello, ten eighty three. Good night, quality approach one two four point nine or five. One two four uh, minor five, but uh, ten eighty three. Seat the crew. Twenty eight fifty one Kodak Atlanta Center one three two point nine or seven. One three two testament nine or seven. American twenty fifty one face just sorry about that. Kevin Crew, seats for landing. Right in one eighty connect rolling approach, one two four point nine or five. Two four nine or five for American Light Zero. Delay 26, connect the Timic approach, 126.1. Direction approach, 126.1, Delta 826. Instrument approach, Delta 826, information Foxtrot, descending 4000, leaving uh, 14,500. Delta 826. Delta Lake Approach, good evening. Thank the Arnav Yankee Runway 20 from Duck and the Richmond Alpha River 2983. That's on 2983 and uh, Runway 20 out of Approach Delta 826. Well, didn't expect that. Okay, 4522, turn left heading 240, vector 2 final. 240, I'm out here at 4522. From Ducks. Welcome to Director. Good evening. To the three Charlie, with the passing 10,000 and the threat from Rigmas. Give it three Charlie Heavy. Total departure. Good evening. Yep, it's Yankee. Maintain 1 1,000. Let's check Ooh, the legs. Level 1 1,000. That's good. Ducks, Tim with double T, Horner. Three, Charlie, I saw. Heavy, radar contact over Ringmouth. 
and contact Stillman Departure, 119 And Miguel? And then the runway. Minerims is 400. No, 205, Quebec, contact Richmond Tower, 1.12. 400 plus one, done. Richmond Tower, 21, one. And 504. Five, 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 five. And the I-45.21 miles from the Zumi, fly heading 220, maintain 3,000, so it's time to go to clear off, through one higher left approach. Two zero, three or something, I have island, so I'm going to left side, 4502. Two zero, hey? Yeah, I love 41, so I maintain 4,000. 6,607, I'll need to slot a little bit quicker than that, medium. And we're coming off to the left, uh, to the right, sorry, on uniform one. Still flat 40. There's 10,000, all the lights are on. Delta 826, pad duck, clear to Arnav Yankee, runway 20 approach. From ducks, clear to Arnav Yankee, uh, 20 approach, Delta 826. Clear the approach. Okay, from ducks at 4,000, we cross Tim at 3,200. And we need to do direct in. Departure Delta, uh, excuse me, United 1826 through 2, 3, 4, 3,000. Did you tune the RLS so don't United get it? United 1826, Delta Departure, good evening, radar contact. Turn last heading 240, maintain 3,000. Inbound is 203. To maintain 3,000, left to 240, United 1826. Good stuff. 203. Three. And that is sorted. United 4522, contact all tower 120.1. See you, bud. Yeah, I love 41, sir, I think 010. Which way is 010? United 1826, cleared direct buffers, joined the departure, climb maintain 10,000. 131.1 is set. That's the tower. Climb maintain 10,000, join departure at 1826. Cool. Ducks will be at 240 knots and then uh, Horner at 210 or less. And we'll need flaps at Horner. Speaking of flaps, stowed set. I mean, flaps 11 and then flaps 28. Okay, and minimum uh, altitude in the turn there is 1300. So far, United 249 heading 220, 2500 for 3000. United 249, so far, good evening, radar contact. Uh, maintain speed, we'll need flaps. Uh, select slats extend. Check. Actually, 9249. Amanda, to the speed 250 left, 
and third direct selectors doing the departure and climb maintain one zero thousand. E two five zero left direct butters and climb maintain one zero thousand. Two fifty or left direct butters and up to one three thirteen thousand at two four nine. Thirty two set. Next one will be thirteen, I believe. Yep. Thirty two, then thirteen after Honor. By the time we hit thirteen hundred, we should be on manual controls. Missed approach altitude. Two thousand. Twelve forty three cell departure good evening. Climb maintain radar contact, climb maintain one one eleven thousand. GM mode is set. Climb maintain one one thousand. Call the twelve forty three. Yeah, at eighteen twenty six contact with the length departure, one one hour point five, good day. One one hour point five, good day. Even better, there's an eighteen twenty six now. <laughs> an eight twenty six. Yeah, two four nine six for your contact. Departure, and let him know of your yeah. Cabinet secure, let's do the landing checks. So twelve forty three turn right heading zero one zero proceed direct Riggins when he will join the departure. Let's slow it down. Turn and ten. Right zero one zero and direct to uh, Land to get down, please. Yeah. Check. See that number again. Honor at two ten twenty six hundred. Delta four forty three contact the departure, one hour twenty five. One one hour, decimal five, delta four forty three. And yeah, delta four forty three is one one hour point eight five, eighty five. Four one hundred eight five. Delta eight twenty six contact Richmond Tower one two one point one. Good evening. Richmond Tower one two zero point one. Delta eight twenty six. Richmond Tower Delta eight twenty six on the air there runway two zero. Delta 826, Richmond Tower, good evening, wind 2408, runway 20, clear to land. Runway 20, clear to land, Delta 826. Okay, landing clearances received, flaps 28, please. Flaps 28. There's a marker. Flaps 28, thank you. Speed brakes and spoilers around. Landing checklist. Get there. Under gear down, three green, flap slats are extended. We'll be using 40, we're on 28 now. Speed brake is armed, ignition is selected to both. EAOP is set, final checklist is complete. Twenty six hundred going down still. Twenty three hundred, sorry. And I think I'm visual. 
I am visual. My airplane. Anything? Apparently, I don't have the ability to switch that off. Oh, already am off. Cool. I didn't hear the the buzzer. Okay, my throttles as well. Speed 135. Richmond Tower, Blue Street, 5200, ready to taxi, runway 20. Flaps 40. Blue Street, 5200, runway 20, taxi via Alpha. Via Alpha, Tower, uh, Blue Street, 5200. Coming off. Ted high. Correcting left. Check. Visual approach. Lost the break. Continue. On the Pappy. And they're breaking. Delta 826, welcome to Richmond. Exit right on Echo and taxi straight ahead to the ramp. Right on Echo into the ramp, Delta 826. Okay, clean it on up. Maybe you're starting. Where the radar is off. Clock stops at 108. Going to get Bravo 13. Right there. <laughs> Nose light is off. Ah, in that direction. Okay then. Richmond Tower, Blue Street 5200, and uh, we're having a technical problem. We're going to disconnect and then reconnect with the network in about five minutes. Uh, Blue Street 5200, Roger. Don't 
Don't know why he's on the ladder up there, but anyway. That's close enough. Park and brake is set. APU is on the bus. On the bleed. Shut down. Camera crew, disarm doors, cross track. Too far forward, aren't we? Way too far forward. Need to edit that one so that I'm not so far forward on the Della. Air conditioning on the right side. Let's go ahead and deboard. Okay, one hour, 28 minutes of flying time. A delay of three hours due to technology problems. But we made it. It's Easter Sunday. Goodbye. Inhale. That's how we look couple of little things I need to change. Uh, firstly, the parking position in Richmond. Not that I'll probably ever come back. Yeah, I might come back. It's a nice airport. I'll look around. This is a freeware airport. You can buy it. You don't have to buy it. Just download it. There's a few places to download it. Um, I've seen it at avsim.com and also Riku. Um, but yeah, it's the same airport twice. I've edited some of the uh, Sodi positions because they looked a bit weird the first time I came in. But apparently they are correct. For instance, I thought that looked weird coming out of the window there, but apparently it does. I was looking at it before. comes out between the two windows, roughly where the sign B13 is. Much like the one next to it, R11. So, yeah. Anyhow, I think I'll get rid of all these United signs because this is obviously a Delta parking location since that's where the real aeroplane parks. You can see via gate B13. And here we are, gate B13. It's definitely a Delta aeroplane. Definitely not a United aeroplane. And apparently United's got all of these Sodi positions. So we might put some Deltas around the place or... Might even look at some photos of the real airport. See what they've got. Anyhow, it's been quite fun flying to this little... It's called an international airport. I don't know if there's any flights to Mexico or Canada from here. Maybe there are. It's almost like a little regional airport in uh, Washington. Well, near Washington. Near enough to drive to it. But yeah, nice little flight. Now the Delta, there was a couple of things, the, uh, I don't know, the other part did turn off, but I think I just double clicked it too quick, and it just didn't give me the alarm, I was expecting, beep, autopilot, got nothing, 
So I just need to uh, double check that I've got all the settings right for that to happen. I think I just went click click and it counts of the sound like less than a second after it spawned. Let's make the uh, tail do its silly thing. Oh, not enough wind. Done. Need some crosswind so you get one of the uh, elevators lifting up and the other one staying where it is. Little trim tabs on the back. Good looking aeroplane. It'll be a pity in a uh, couple of years when uh, Delta get rid of them all. I think it's 2022 that they'll retire the last MD88 and the 90 at the same time. So the only uh, T tails in their fleet will be the CRJs and the uh, 717s. That's probably another airplane we need to start looking at flying again. 717, that was always a beast of mine in my old system. Used to slam the uh, processor. So now that I've got a processor that's more than double as fast, probably significantly more, uh, we can start doing that. Old 717 flying it around the corner slink. They're good looking aeroplanes. Oh, hello Southwest, how you doing? Got old Harp 2. Yeah, great looking airport. Completely free. Links below. But yeah, Richmond on AFSIM. K-R-I-C. And uh, see what pops up. And you'll uh, get to download this thing. And if you've got Sodi, you can put the gates on there as well. Yeah, pretty cool. Anyway, I've been the Musical Aviator. All these guys are popping in and out, hoping to get some uh, air traffic control at the end of this uh, event. The event technically finished just then, like in the last two or three minutes. While I've been talking, the event finished, and all the air traffic controllers, uh, apart from DC center, DC approach, and uh, ROA approach have all logged off. So we had heaps of them on just a few seconds ago. But now, they've all gone. Well, not all of them, but you know. You saw it before when we had all the air traffic controllers on. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Anyway, I'm very glad that I got to uh, do the event. I don't know why the uh, deboarding IR do now. Because they finished deboarding the uh, stuff. So they might as well close the uh, cargo doors, eh? Uh, it's Southwest attacks. All the Southwest is boring. Popping up. Stay away. The silly 737s. Anyway, I've been Musical Avia. I'll catch you guys around. See ya.